Well, this is the time of year to remember how thankful we are for family and friends and a roof over our heads. A Jacksonville man, Dave Workman, is thankful to be alive after battling a severe case of West Nile virus and beating it. On your side, Troy Kless spoke with Workman one year later and saw how he has overcome a big tragedy. Last year, I sat down with Dave Workman for an exclusive interview talking about his battle with West Nile virus. He says he does not even remember that day. Workman says he lost some of his physical strength and his memory, but through this ordeal, he gained a new sense of appreciation for his faith and his family. Here you go. Workman <laughs> says he's hardly lost a step. We caught some good fish, believe it or not. <laughs> Catching up with old friends at his son's fishing shop, Strike Zone, making sure everyone is happy. I mow the yard, uh, do some rakes. I can't pull a lawnmower <laughs> or a power tool string, but uh, other than that, I do, I do pretty well. A year ago, Workman was on a feeding tube and going through speech therapy seven days a week. After a fishing trip in September, Workman felt ill and one day was on the floor and couldn't stop dry heaving. His wife, Melissa Workman, knew something wasn't right. It was emotional. I mean, the kids um, had watched him at the worst. One of the neurologists came in and one, one morning wrote on the board, the dry board, uh, possible meningitis encephalitis West Nile. And then four days later came in and erased the possible off. They faced the uphill battle head on. It's pretty rare that a patient would uh, be that sick. Because usually, actually, most patients who get West Nile virus don't even have any symptoms. But eight out of 10 just get it and don't, may not even know it. Um, about two out of 10 will have some mild symptoms and then less than one in 10 would have severe symptoms like him. Dr. Kenneth No at Brooks Rehabilitation worked with the couple from the worst moments to the best. Medically, he should not have lived. So that's what we go on. And our faith brought us through all those months, you know, of just having faith in what was gonna happen at the end. Faith, along with the supportive treatment. Workmen underwent months of physical therapy before returning to normal life. There's still many unknowns about West Nile virus, which is spread by mosquitoes. Workman was one of 12 people with the illness in Duval County last year. This year, only three people have it, according to the Florida Department of Health. No says there's no vaccine, but supportive treatment for individual symptoms can help. It did the trick for Workman, who faced West Nile in a severe form and now wants to share his story of how faith, love, and support saved his life. You have to be thankful for your mate that's been with you for 59 years. We took care of you, which I'm very thankful for that. It was the worst, best time of our life. We learned so much about each other and, you know, where our faith was, and um, God's got a reason for it, and I firmly believed every day that, you know, if, if he lived, that's what God wanted. If he died, that's not what I wanted. There was a reason for that, too. Doctors say that the best way of dealing with West Nile virus is to avoid getting it in the first place. We have several tips on how you can prevent mosquito breeding and other measures by going to this story on FirstCoastNews.com. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.